Jeremiah 52. The close. Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign. Twenty-one years old. And he reigned seven years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Emtua, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. That's not the Jeremiah of the book. And he did that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that Jeconiah had done. For though, for through the anger of the Lord it came to pass Jerusalem and Judah, till he had cast them out of his presence, God's presence, that Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. So, where we stand in America is we have rebelled against God. And we've got a lot of Christians who are rebelling against the, the government. Remember, Nebuchadnezzar is there as God's servant. And I know we talked about the cursings and the blessings and all that. But God has Nebuchadnezzar there by the prophecy in the preaching of Jeremiah. And the men of Judah are against God and they're against the government. Where we are in America. Christians can't get a hold that Paul and Peter told us to pray for the, for the leadership. Whoever they be. Under the rulership of Nero. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign. In the tenth month. In the tenth day of the month. Look at that. There's a date. A month. A day. And a year. And we're going to look at a few months, day, and years of the destruction of Jerusalem and Judah in the temple. And we don't have the month, day, and year of Jesus Christ being born. We've got the month, the day, but we don't have the year that, that Jesus Christ died. But we know the hour. That Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came and he and all his army against Jerusalem, pitched against it, and built forts against it round about. You imagine what that was like. And Jeremiah is over there preaching. Jeremiah is in jail preaching. So the city was besieged in the 11th year of King Zedekiah. In the fourth month, fourth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city. Jeremiah is in jail. So that there was no bread for the people of the land. Remember when they put Jeremiah in prison? Feed him with the, with the bread until it finally gives out. Here we are. The city was broken up. We tore down. <clears throat> Babylonian army has finally breached the walls. And all the men of war, the army, fled. Great army. And went forth out of the city by night by the way of the gate between two walls. You know, you realize what our what our military is? You realize in our military we have Muslims and ISIS and all our enemy? You know, when when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, there wasn't many Japanese in our military. There's plenty of them today. There's Chinese in our military. There are Mexicans are in our They went by the way of the plain. And the army of the Chaldeans pursued after the king. Now it's remarkable here. It says by the way the gate between two walls was the king's garden in the middle of the night. This was prophesied by Ezekiel. Ezekiel was told to blindfold himself and dig through the wall. Here we go. So Ezekiel has been preaching in Babylon. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued after the king and overtook him. <clears throat> Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and the army was scattered from him. His army. They, it's like the secret service with the president. Pew! Anywhere and everywhere, but where they're supposed to be. Then they took the king and carried him up hill, mountain, and to the king of Babylon, to Ribda, in the land of Hamath. Where he gave judgment upon him. God judged Zedekiah. Now the, the government. And the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. 
He slew also the princes of Judah and Rimmon. And Zedekiah is made to watch this. Then he put out the eyes of Zedekiah. So the last thing Zedekiah sees is his princes are being killed and his two sons are killed. And now it goes his eyeballs. The king of Babylon bound him and changed <coughs> and carried him to Babylon and put him in prison the day of his death. Now the fifth month, <coughs> excuse me, the tenth day of the month, which is the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, there's another date, came Neber Zedan, captain of the guard, this is the one who rescues Jeremiah, which served the king of Babylon into Jerusalem, and burnt the house of the Lord, the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, and all the houses of the great men, burned he with fire, destroyed. And all the army of the Chaldeans that were with the captain of the guard break down all the walls of Jerusalem round about, and you'll find that destruction read right about in Nehemiah. Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, carried away the captives, certain the poor of the people. And the residue of the people that remained in the city, those that fell away, like God told them to do. Yeah, okay, here we are. We surrender. And fell to the king of Babylon and the rest of the multitude. But Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, left certain the poor of the land. There's the advantage of being poor. The land for vine dredgers and for husbandmen. So he leaves the poor in there to take care of the figs, the grapes. Because they're going to benefit the Babylonians. Now watch out here. They also took the pillows of wrath that, that Solomon made, two of them. One was called Boaz. That were in the house of the Lord. And the bases, the brazen sea. That's a labor. That was in the house of the Lord. The Chaldeans break. He break. They break that. And carried all the brass to Babylon. The cauldrons, the shovels, the snuffers, the bowls, the spoons, and all the vessels of brass whereby they ministered, they took away. This would be of the this would be of the brazen altar, the braces, the fire pans, the bowls, the cauldrons, the candlesticks, the spoons, the cups. That Belsizer will have a feast day with. That which was of gold in gold, and that which was silver in silver, took the captain of the guard away. The two pillars, there they are again. The one sea. The twelve basin bulls that were under the basin. You read what Solomon did is when he built that labor, he put twelve bulls as the foundation. Three looking east, three west, three south, three north. Which the king of Psalm had made in the house of the Lord. If you read your Old Testament, you know about that. The brass for all the vessels were without weight. You couldn't weigh them all. Concerning the pillars, here are the pillars again. The height of one pillar is 18 cubits. And the fillet of 12 cubits did compass it. And the thickness thereof were four fingers. And the pillars were hollow. And that answers another question somewhere, you know, you know, contradictions in the Bible. A chapter of brass was upon it. That's the top of the, of the pillars you see in buildings. The height of one chapter is five cubits. The network and the pomegranate decorations of the chapter round about it was all brass. The second pillar also in pomegranates were like unto these. And there were 96 pomegranates on one side and the pomegranates were network, checkered work, like a chessboard were a hundred around the bell. That's interesting. What's missing? I had a, I had a foolish preacher say what well, I'm about to make. Well, maybe they tore it down. When the Philistines brought the Ark of the Lord back on a cart, a new cart, God smote the men just for looking in it. God smote others just for touching it. I don't think it was broken in pieces. And then when I tried to show him what's next, uh, he didn't want to listen to the scriptures. Look at Revelation.
Revelation chapter 11 verse 19 Uh, what was his name? Harrison Ford went looking for the Ark and the Raiders of Lost Ark. And I never watched the movie, but I was told that the Germans had it or something. Lies. Hollywood didn't know, and the pastor of a church didn't know, but I know. It was raptured. Revelation 9, 11, 19, the temple of God was opened in heaven. That's not the temple on the earth. And there was seen in his temple the ark of his testimony. There it is. Tell Harrison Ford, if he wants to see the ark, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, he shall be saved. And when he goes to glory, after he dies, he will see the ark. Now, if he dies without Jesus Christ, he's not ever going to see the ark. Tell that moron down in Oak Hill. They didn't break it up. There it is. That ark lost the mercy seat first. Because how did those men look into the ark if there was a mercy seat? The mercy seat disappeared first. And then the ark itself. Jeremiah 52, 24, and the captain of the guard took Sir Fire, king, I mean, excuse me, chief of the priests. Wait a minute, isn't that? Wow, look at chapter 51, verse 61. That's the man that he took the book of Jeremiah read to the people and then put it in a rock and he put it in the Euphrates in the Euphrates and there was a verse 59 says Sarah uh, Sariah was a quiet prince here it says a chief priest maybe not one's a prince one's a priest maybe not <clears throat> the names are the same. And Zephaniah, the second priest. So there were two priests. That answers your questions in the time of the gospel. What do you mean there were two priests when Jesus was around? There's two priests now. Where did that come from? The three keepers of the door. <clears throat> and he took also out of the city eunuch and eunuch. Not eunuchs. Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach were made eunuchs. Which had charge of the men of war. I mean the ones that ran away. Seven men of them that were near the king's person. Uh, the king is in Babylon, blinded and in jail. And now they get seven of his men. So there was this total chaos in the government. Uh, don't you see that in American government today? Which were found in the city, principal scribe of the host, who mustered the people of the land. Three score men of the people of the land that were found in the midst of the city. So Nebuchadnezzar, I know his name is different every time, of the guard took them and brought them to king, brought them to the king of Babylon to Ribna. So, in Ribna, Nebuchadnezzar set up a little satellite government, and then they would transport the rest and those who survived to Babylon. The king of Babylon smote them and put them to death in Ribna in the land of Hamath. Thus, Judah was carried away captive out of his own land. Thus the people whom Nebuchadnezzar carried captive in the seventh year, the first time, seventh year, the first time, 3,000 Jews, three and twenty. There goes Daniel, Nechak. In the eighteenth year, number two of Nebuchadnezzar, he, he carried away captive from Jerusalem 830 and two persons. 
one of these two, Ezekiel would go. In the three and twenty twentieth year of Nebuchadnezzar, now the third and final captain, there are three different times Nebuchadnezzar came against Jerusalem. Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, carried away captives of the Jews, 745. So all the persons that were, were captive were 4,600. It came to pass in the seventh and thirtieth year of captivity. All right, they've been in the land 37 years after Jeremiah 52. King of Judah in the 12th month in the 5 and 20th day of that month look at these look at 1225 there's a it's not called December but there's a 1225. And this is even after the city is destroyed. That evil Murdoch, another king of Babylon, what a name. Mother mother thought very kindly of him. In the first year of his reign. So, evil Murdoch becomes king of Babylon. And you can, you can, there's Nebuchadnezzar and his father in reign and Father goes off and fights. Nebuchadnezzar's in charge, and Nebuchadnezzar goes off and fight in Belshazzar. It, you have to really look at and read to understand the kings, because there's overlap of kingdoms. But he becomes king the first year of his reign. Is 37 years after Jeremiah 52. In his reign, he lifts up the head of Jeconiah. King of Judah. Now this is not Zedekiah, this is Jeconiah. And brought him forth out of prison. And spent kindly in him and set his throne above the throne of kings that were with him in Babylon. So there were other kings. And you're getting in the realm of those ten kings and the Antichrist and all. I don't understand it. Changed his prison garments, he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. I wonder if he was sitting at Belsizer's table. For his diet, there was continually given him of the king of Babylon every day a portion unto the day of his death all the days of his life. And we close Jeremiah. So, been destroyed. Jerusalem, Judah has been destroyed. 